Welcome back to John's Films. This is the $2,000 Laptop Shopping Episode 4 DaVinci Resolve. It was supposed to be the Gigabyte Show, but Dell screwed it up. Let's see how. For those of you first time around here, this is the third episode of Video Laptop Shopping. This is at the $2,000 price point. What you need to know about my scoring, it's a John score. You don't get to argue with it. It's for real at the bottom, top of the line at the top, and the John's Films logos go up as it gets good. First laptop is the one that's messing up my $2,000 price point. This is a Dell G715. It is a 4K OLED 100% DCI P3. This is the best color recreation that we've seen in any laptop to date. It has the 9750 6-core 9th gen Intel processor with 16 gigabytes of 2666 MHz DDR4 RAM. It has an RTX 2080 8GB of GDDR6 on the Max-Q variant. It's got 512GB NVMe drive and a killer price tag of $1,679. Later, John, I was checking the price to make sure it was still live when I was going to post this, and I just bought it for $1,579. In the $1,600 episode, I said this must be the dead zone for laptop purchases. Nope, I found the winner. Unfortunately, it's going to kick the butt out of every single $2,000 laptop we've got. Yeah, but don't believe me? Let's check it out. Now, I told you this was going to be the Gigabyte Show. They have a fantastic lineup of 4K OLED DCI-P3 compatible displays. So what's wrong with it? Well, not much. It's an 8-core, 10th-gen Intel processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a GTX 1660 Ti, which is not much to sneeze at with 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, and a 512 gigabyte SSD, $2,000. This was a fantastic deal until Dell showed up and ruined it. Now, full disclosure here on the Dell, I used to work for Dell for 10 years. I was in IT, didn't sell anything, and I'm still not selling for them. I don't get any kickback on this. It's just amazing. Well, John, maybe you don't know what you're shopping for. Let's take a look at more gigabytes. Sure, 4K OLED, DCI-P3, like I said. Processors, the 9750, same one we see over there with the Dell. 16 gigabytes of RAM, check, RTX 2070, woo! Oh, wait, it's not a 2080. And 512 gigabyte SSD. $2,000, which makes this only $300 more than getting a better graphics card in the Dell. Next, we have the MSI Creator Series. Let's check those out. This one's a touch screen, pay special attention. However, it's full HD running at 60 hertz. It's an IPS panel. That's the in-plane switching technology. Gives you better contrast angles, gives you better color, but it's full HD. 10875 eight core processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 27, sounds familiar, right? It is, it's the same setup, different display. At this point, though, for $2,000, it's not going to blow us away, so we'll check out this new MSI 17-inch GS75 Stealth Gaming Laptop. I've got a couple of viewers that are really interested in this type of laptop. This is an 8-core Hound Dog Mech, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes of VRAM in your RTX 2070, and a 512 gigabyte NVMe. This would be a fantastic laptop to drive external monitors. It's a fair price at $2,000 for a 17-inch laptop with a 32 gigabytes of RAM on an 8-core processor. I like it. And for the longest time, this was here, the Asus, that I thought I was going to be buying. It's a 4K IPS, 100% Adobe RGB, which is the most color we've seen represented so far. Has a 9758, that's 6-core we're familiar with at this point, a 32 gigabytes of RAM, an RTX 2060 with 6 gigabytes of VRAM, and it has dual NVMe SSDs in RAID 0. You could go into your BIOS and... Pull those out of RAID 0 and have two 512 gigabyte drives. That might be a smart move for video editing. You're not getting any redundancy. You are getting speed with the RAID, but at an NVMe drive, who needs much faster? All of that for $2,000. And I'm telling you, I'd normally say there's a ton of good deals to be had at $2,000. Here's an example from Alienware, also owned by Dell. It's the 4K panel. It is a 9750 processor. It's 32 gigabytes of RAM instead of the 16 that's in the Dell, but an RTX 2070 instead of a 2080, and then two NVMe hard drives that are relatively small. That's $2,014. Now, previously, I got the question, why don't you ever include any Lenovo's? Well, the price didn't hit me. Finally got there. I was including Legion before, but this is Lenovo's home brand, Len Lenovo ThinkPad. This is the X1. Long been a solid brand for them. It's a 4K OLED Dolby Vision display. 9th Gen, 9756 core, 32 gigabytes, 1650, and a 256 gigabyte hard drive. 
I don't know about you guys, but I'd fill up 256 gigabytes film and B-roll on my cereal in the morning. This is not going to work. 1650 will also make you pretty sad if you look anywhere near 4K. That could actually utilize the display on this thing. We now resume the regularly scheduled Gigabyte show. This one, of course, being the Gigabyte Aero 15S OLED KB8 US 513 OSP. And honestly, you can get these Gigabytes any way you want them. You've got an 8-core processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, an RTX 2060 with 6 gigabytes of VRAM, and a 512 SSD. This would be a great choice. The $2,000 options are probably great choices as well. But the Gigabyte show's ruined. Oh, yeah. And it gets more confusing now. Here's the 17-inch model. It's a full HD display, but that might be your jam. It comes with an RTX 2070, a 10th gen 8-core processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 512 gigabyte SSD for $2,200. Finally, the other comment I've gotten on these videos, why do you hate Razer so much? Well, I don't. I just feel like there should be value for what's given. And in this case, at $2,200, this would be the first place I would possibly dip my feet in the water that is Razer. 10th gen, 6-core processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and RTX 2070 doesn't make me angry, 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD. So in no big surprise, the grand champion today is the Dell G7 in the $2,000 price range based on its hardware about where it should be priced. It comes in at $1,679. If you do like this and you want to get on it, head on over to Dell. I, you'll find the link at Google G715. Configure it up and have a nice day. I don't get any kickback for it, but good grief, that's an amazing, amazing deal. If this has helped you or any of the information you gained is useful, share a friend. Send it over to them. Feel free to buy me a coffee if you like. Buymeacoffee.com down below. And otherwise, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.